this is Jolly. And I'm Tony. And this is Table Ready. We're back. All right, we're back. So this is our 14th episode, and we have another revisit. In case you can't tell by the big book we have right there at the pro front, we are playing what, Tony? Gaslands. We are revisiting Gaslands. Gaslands Refueled is a car carnage game. Uh, you literally take some Matchbox or Hot Wheels, modify them, paint them up, whatever you want, put some little guns on them, and then we're going to run and we're going to shoot each other, have a good time. All right, so before we get into what we're each running, yeah, explain what mission or scenario we're playing. Okay, so if you'll remember last time, we did a death race. It was first mm -hmm. person cross the finish line wins. We're doing something completely different tonight. Tonight we're doing Arena of Death. It's very exciting. So it's going to be last team standing wins. So I've already deployed over in this corner. You've already deployed over in that corner. And so after we go through yeah. the rosters. Tony. I'm over here. Me. This is me. Uh, after we go through our rosters and talk about that, we're going to get right into some gameplay. Uh, yeah, like I said, last team standing wins. All right. So we're going to see what flavor of car death we like more. Race that we did last time or arena that we did this time. And if we don't like either, there's like 10 more scenarios we could play. Are they all named something death? Quite possibly. If they're not, I'm not interested in them. It's all cars and death. All right, cool. All we'll right. We'll see. He's probably not interested. <laughs> we, could always, we could always make a, a formal request to rename all of them, right? Yeah, sure. We could. All right, so, Tony. Go ahead with that beautiful B-roll footage. Talk about your crew that you're running tonight. All right, so tonight we have team Synthwave Slime. So we've got three beautifully painted cars here, each of them in a Synthwave scheme. First up, we have the purple one. Her name is Dancing Queen. Dancing Queen spouts handguns, a machine gun, smoke dropper, with the perks Delicate Touch and Momentum. Next up is Footloose, you can see on screen now. Footloose is the newest addition to Team Synthwave Slime. Footloose is spouting handguns like all cars do, some Caltrop droppers from the back, and the perks Fender Kiss and Skiing. So it's gonna be dancing all around, getting some good footwork in. And finally, the last one is Manic Monday, the truck whose only goal is death and destruction. It has a ram on the front, as well as a harpoon and a mortar launcher. Together, these three cars are gonna tag team it up and they're going to destroy you to the ground. To the ground? To the ground. So all I gotta do is get below the ground and I'm safe. And then I'll put, dig you up from below the ground and put you back in the ground. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so that's Tony's crew. And so now we're going to roll some beautiful footage for my crew. All right, and here we go. This is Jolly's Joyriders. And today we have a lovely trio of three. You might recognize two of them. The first one is Ramshackle, that beautiful little bumblebee looking black and beige car, I guess is that what the fancy people call it. So. We got a harpoon, we got a machine gun, and we got ourselves a ram on the front. Next, we have a fan favorite, which is showing now, yellow snow. I don't know what you do in the snow, maybe make snow angels, but yellow snow, you don't do that. Don't eat the snow that he's been through, because it's full of death and blood. And other things that we can't mention on this show. Finally, finally, we have the beauty, the duo known as Donk and Dancing Jim. That's right, Donk and Dancing Jim. They used to be rivals, unrivaled rivals, I think. That's how I'm saying, right? <laughs> so what they used to be is they didn't like each other. As a matter of fact, Donk one day smashed into Dancing Jim so hard he flew out his windshield. And Donk wasn't none of that though. He ran over poor Dancing Jim's legs. Dancing Jim don't dance so much anymore. They were pretty much on the verge of just annihilating each other mm -hmm. when suddenly they got an offer from Team Slime that they couldn't refuse. A monster truck strapped with two miniguns. So, that's what we got. <laughs> yep. I was not expecting that. I, 
I appreciate you so much. Uh, where are we? That was We're that was that was a, a performance ready. and a half. I what? I uh, hey, I wrote up bios for some of my guys. I posted them everywhere. I like love I was excited for this when I was trying to decide what car I wanted to add. It was Donk and Dancing Jim, and I was trying to figure out what to do with it, and I decided I had a guy in the back, uh, the one with the minigun in the back. I only had a torso. I didn't have any legs, so I had to come up with a backstory why he didn't have legs. Of course. He's Dancing Jim. He's Donk and Dancing Jim. It's Donk and Dancing Jim. So right. they're my new monster truck that I'm going to try out during the Arena of Death, so I'm excited. All right, so we're going to hop right into things. Uh, we rolled for pull position. I was the victor, so I will be going first. Uh, for those of you that need to know, these little red points all around the map. We've got seven of them total, correct? Yep. These are turrets. Uh, when a car ends their movement in medium range of a turret for the first time in a gear phase, so. the turret will make a 2d6 shooting attack. It's just something to kind of get the, uh, the carnage going while we meet each other in the center. And so we can't be, can't be wimps about this. Because if you just try to run away from the other person, you're going to get shot a bunch you by the You gotta go for it. You gotta go for it. It's the arena of death, not the arena of hand holding and friendship. Exactly. All right. All right. So, so what are we doing? We are going to start off strong. Explain your dice. Okay. Yep. No, so. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. Last thing we have also right here, which you'll be able to see, we have a giant wooden dice on top of this hill, which we won't be able to get up on top of an interactive this hill, but it will show you the round that we're on. What is the, what, are the rounds called anything? Gear phase. Gear phase. So it is the gear, gear phase that we're on. There are six gear phases in a round. Okay. So it will show us the gear phase for the current round that we're on? Yes. Okay. So uh, and then we'll just keep track of the rounds ourselves. Just a reminder, a car can only activate if its current gear is equal to or higher than the current gear phase. So, starting off, everyone's in first gear. So, I'm going to choose from my first activation, the Dancing Queen. The very beautiful leader I feel like this Team should be a house wave. where Tony has to sing whenever he moves Dancing Queen. We're not going to get demonetized, so no. It's just a real short blurb, just like that. Caribbean Queen, Caribbean Queen. All right. Uh, we're going to go medium. She's got that beautiful purple sheen. What? I'm just thinking about <laughs> Dancing Queen. Uh, we're going to go forward medium. So I get an automatic shift for taking this medium in first gear. Okay. And then Dancing Queen has a handling of three. So we're going to roll three shift dice. Skid dice, I'm sorry. Skid well, dice. I've got, I've rolled three shifts, and then I had one more. So you're going to re-roll, you're going to re-roll all of those, right? Oh, yeah, for sure. So for anybody who is kind of watching this for the first time, the dice, half the dice that we'll use, actually, the dice that we'll use the most often will be these skid dice, which have different things that we can do. We can shift up and down, we can slide, we could do all kinds of stuff with them. So that's what Tony just rolled to see what kind of fancy dancing yeah, driving he can do. Uh, not too much right now. We're just gonna gear up twice, which earns us two hazards, and then we're gonna spend the remaining two shifts to negate those two hazards. So we're gonna go into gear three and have no hazards. All right. So it's at the end of what a move. So you're safe. You're at good the end there. of my move. Yep. yep. You're good. So not within turret rage that time. Okay. So and then we're alternating activations, correct? Yes, but I'm not done with mine. You're not done with yours? Because Dancing Queen has a machine gun. It's front mounted, mm. so I need to see if I'm not able to aim at that turret. So, now that I've checked that, I end my turn. All right. So, another quick clarification for people watching, possibly for the first time. Every gun, almost, unless you mount it on a turret or something like that, has to have a facing. So that's why Tony could only shoot stuff that was directly in front of him, which barely misses the turret. All right, but it's my go, right? Yes, choose one of your unactivated cars. One of my unactivated cars. We are going to go with Ramshackle right here. So my little Bumblebee Volkswagen car. Um, and I'm trying to make it over to you. And one of the fun things about this game is we have to choose the template before we set it down. Yes. It's all move templates, so if you ever played anything like 
X-Wing or anything like that, we have these templates. This, this is ridiculously hard for you guys to see because it's yellow on this yellow background, but here, would you like to use one of mine? Yeah, just to kind of show them. So there are several of these templates. We have to pick one of these before we set it down, and as soon as we pick it and set it down, we are stuck with that regardless of where we end up. That's one of the really fun things about this game. No <laughs> pre-measuring, which we should have done last week with Relic Blade. There's no pre-measuring in that, but eh, we kind of house ruled right. it. I'm going to choose a gentle turn with Ramshackle because my hope is that I'm going to come this way and not run into this, but we're going to see. So I place that down, and I might end up hitting that, actually. I think you're okay. Nope. I'm just good. So before you move, you're supposed to roll your skid I'm dice, Jolly. supposed to roll skid dice. Because you might slide. I might slide, which would be bad in this case, because I'd slide into that building. All right. So, Tony, get your skid dice out of here. I've removed my skid dice. Thank you. All right. So since I chose gentle turn, I get a free automatic shift, which I will incorporate here in a second. And then Ramshackle is a car. So I'll get to roll three of these skid dice. So... We're on wow. point tonight, Tony. A roll so nice, you rolled it twice. Rolled it once. Well, I rolled it once, too, so twice. <laughs> All right, so I can do something similar to what Tony did. Uh, by the way, Tony, what sponsor are you running? I am running Sponsor Slime for right. Team Slime. So we're both Team Slime. Again, I like Slime too much. You kept Slime? <laughs> I did. I, yeah, I kept Slime. All right. Slime's the one that offered Donk and Dancing Jim the monster truck. It's part of my narrative. Did you listen? I was too busy trying to hold it together. <laughs> All I'm right. going to be honest. So Ramshackle is going to shift up twice. Um, so that will use two of these shifts. And then that would be one, two hazards. There's nothing else you do with shifts besides shift up and down and cancel hazard tokens, correct? Yeah, pretty much. Okay. We're going to shift up another time, actually, and we're going to cancel one of those. So I'll end up with two hazards. <laughs> so fourth gear. Fourth gear. Two hazards. Two hazards. Um, because I like to live dangerously with Team Slime, because then you get fan boats. All right, so now I get to actually move my vehicle. And Ramshackle will move to right there. Uh, let's see, am I within medium of any guns? I am not within medium of any turrets. I have a machine gun, which is, is a long or... Machine gun is double, I believe. Double, okay. I don't have a double template, do you? It's a long and a medium. I, I knew that. I just wondered if maybe you had one. I do not have a double okay. template. So a long and a medium, and I will be able to shoot at this turret right over here because I'm within range for that, and it's in my front arc. Well, let's go for it. So I'm going to go for that because you're not going to end up anywhere near that one anytime soon. So I don't care about leaving it there. All right. So machine gun is 3d6 and it's on every four and five I get hit on a six is two hits, correct? Yes, I believe so. Because a six is critical. It has been a moment since I've played. I was panicking for a second like, oh, what's the ruling for this? So I've got one hit, one, one crit. two, three hits total. Are there armor saves on it or does it just take damage? Uh, the turrets just take damage. Okay, the turrets just take damage. So this turret is down to a lonely one hit point. Um, hull point, I guess is what we should call it, before it is destroyed. Now, we can also crash into these turrets, correct, and yep. cause them damage? They are destructible middleweight objects. Woo! All right, so Ramshackle has gone. Um, back to you, Tony. All right, we're going to go with Manic <laughs> Monday. Manic is going to take a regular turn and we're gonna head and try and deal with this turret before i have to activate uh the newbie on the team so i get one free shift for taking this template in first gear and manic has two handling so i can roll up to two okay skid dice as a shift and a slide uh hmm you can always i'm mean, so one of the things I'm just saying this more so for the viewers. Yes. You could always use these to cancel other dice, too. Correct? Yes, you can do that. Sorry. So I could just, just straight up a, cancel a this out. Okay. Which my other choice would be a one-time reroll for an extra hazard. Okay. Because you could push it, right? Yes. A push it roll. But I'm not going to. I'm going to use this shift to cancel the slide. And then I'm going to use my free shift from the die or from the template. To go up one. To shift up so that way you can activate next gear phase. Yep. And I'll take one hazard for it. Okay. All right. That has been resolved. I go to the end of the template. 
Now I end my movement step definitely within medium. Definitely within pew pew range of the turret. So, so the turret so, will make a 2d6. So does that mean I get to roll it when it's turret shooting at you and you roll it when turrets are shooting at me? It sure does. And it's how many? 2d6. 2d6. We ready for this? Double sixes. We got this. You believe in it, Tony, right? No. I believe in it. I don't believe in it. Nope, just one six. So two hits. So two hits. And you get dice equal to your gear, right? Yes. So two dice, but you have to roll sixes to evade. Yeah, let me... Yeah, only a six cancels a hit. Man, it has been a while since we played this game. Well, uh, re-roll that one. Out of, those ones out don't count. There we go. We want to show the audience the successes no and failures. No sixes? So that is These aren't damage. recovery rolls in Relic Blade. You don't get sixes all the time. All right, so two hull points of damage? Yes. All right. All righty. And now it's my attack step. Uh, Minic is not going to use the mortar or the harpoon because there's no reason to. I don't want to waste the ammo. So I'm just going to shoot a handgun. I've got three crew, so I'm going to shoot three handguns. Okay. And... All weapons basically hit the uh, same. Four up. It's just the bigger your weapon, the more dice you roll. <laughs> so I got two hits. All right. So this turret is down to two hull points. And is that it for Manic Monday? That is it. Wish it were Sunday? No. Because that's RPG day on Guard Tower Games. I'm really trying not to get demonetized. Demonetized? We're moving on. I'm just using it to, prom to cross-promote our other excellent shows. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. <laughs> Your turn. <laughs> All right. We're going to activate Yellow Snow. Yellow Snow ain't afraid of no turret. So Yellow Snow right here, camouflaged in the desert, is going to try to just go a medium forward, which is going to definitely put him in front range of this turret. But that's, that's how we play with Yellow Snow. Um, so medium forward. And let's do some dice rolling to see what happens. Uh, so handling three once again, because it's a car. Uh, no special, I didn't put any special perks on most of my vehicles. I just crammed them up with equipment for the most part. <laughs> That's fair. Um, so I get one free shift from the template that I chose. And three more shifts. So four shifts total. And we're going to do the same thing. Uh, I'm going to shift up three times, but then cancel one of those three hazard tokens I would get. So three shifts up to fourth gear. Cancel a hazard token, so I only get two on yellow snow. And then we're going to move yellow snow right up here. Brum, 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 brum. That's what you've been forgetting, Tony. That's what we've both been forgetting. Our car yeah. noises. Brum, brum, <laughs> brum, 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 brum. Um, definitely within medium. I'm going to get shot at by a turret. Tony? I will roll the shooting have attack. At, have at it. There you go. Nothing. I think Discord told you to get better dice this week, Tony. Well, clearly, no. <laughs> Absolutely not. It's fine. These are the turret's dice, not yours. Technically, they're in these rolls. Uh -huh. So you, your dice haven't been affected yet. We'll, we'll let the rest of the video play out and see what happens. For, for now, we're going to go with optimism. Uh, I can't shoot it because it is not in my front arc. So I can't get it any place in my front arc, so I can't shoot it back. Oh, well, not with that. What's the hand? Is a handgun medium? That is a good question. My goodness. I have, uh, handguns I have are a, medium. Handguns are medium. I have two crew in here. Yellow Snow's crewed by two people. Yep. So I'm going to take two shots of handguns on it. Because handguns are on a quote-unquote turret. Crew can shoot in 360 degrees. Yep, they could. They can pop out whichever window they can fit their hand through and pop off some shots. All right. This is my double sixes. Or the or same, the same roll, roll as the turret. <laughs> All, All right. right. Um, that's it for Yellow Snow. We moved up. We did nothing. Turret did nothing. We're getting into this nice position to start attacking Tony. All right. It's Footloose's first activation of its life. We're going to go medium straight. Automatic shift, handling of three. So we're going to roll three skid dice. So a spin spin hazard. That's, that that is not the best. That does not seem what you probably want to do, huh? So I'm going to push it. Yeah. I am definitely going to push it and re-roll all three of those. Because you got to what? Go foot loose, right? 
That's better. That's much better. So, two shifts plus my one from the template and one hazard, which just gives me a hazard. So I'll cancel the hazard. Okay. And then we'll shift up and then we'll cancel the hazard from that shift. Okay, so you, you end up in gear two and one hazard. one hazard from pushing it, correct? Yes, that is correct. Uh, and then the movement we take, we go, and I am well within range of that, so that turret will take 2d6 shots at me. 2d6 shots at Footloose. Nope. Beautiful. Footloose is going to fire right back. With handguns or? Handguns. Okay. Otherwise, the only other weapon that... Uh, Caltrop dropper. Yeah, don't want to waste that now. One hit. So one hit. So it is down to a single hull point, this turret is. That's fine. That's fine. You'll just run into it next turn and take it out, right? All right, cool. That uh, is it. My go. I did not think out Yellow Snow's placement very well. Is it right in the direction of... Yep, yeah, but, but Team Slime's all about just getting this win. Um, so let's see. I could turn. I could... What what size category is this? This is heavy? I'd say that's definitely heavy. Okay. So up and over, this vehicle... Uh, the monster truck has a special rule up and over. Um, if I collide with something with an obstruction of a lower weight class, if it's heavy, it's not a lower weight class. So I wouldn't be able to up and over at. That's why I was just checking on. Gotcha. Um, well... I think we're going to start off somewhat slow with the monster truck because it's too soon to start smashing my own stuff. So I'm just going to move, I don't know, forward, forward short's not even that great. These are definitely, what's, what's the weight class on these ones? Middle? Middle weight. All right, so I'm not as afraid of that. I'm going to, hmm. Hmm, big swerve? decisions. I'm going to swerve. So, I can't swerve. Swerving is just, so I wouldn't be able to swerve. So I have to pick a legal one, correct? Yes. Okay. If you choose one and we realize that it's illegal, then your opponent gets to choose if one. If I place it down and try to do something like, with if it. If you'd be like, I'm selecting this one, and then we realize, oh no. Okay. I'm going to do just a normal turn then. So I'm going to take a normal turn, which is legal for me. Now I'm going to place it so that way I end up, like, coming over this way. So I don't think I'll run over my own stuff, and that'll give me a chance to move some of my guys before I do anything, hopefully. But there we go. let's do my skid dice. Um, Donk and Dancing Jim have a handling of three also. So monster trucks, even though they're a heavyweight class, do handle a little bit better than a normal truck. I mean, that makes sense. They're monster trucks. <laughs> they're monster trucks. All right, so with this turn, I do get a free shift for yes. being in the gear that I am. And I've got a shift, shift, slide. Mm. I don't like that slide, but I'm okay with this roll. So we're going to cancel. This is the free shift I'm putting in there. I'm going to cancel this slide because I don't want to slide because that will put me in a bad spot. And I'm going to shift up twice and take two hazards. Okay. So... We will move like that, which we are plenty good at the moment. I'm going to, I got to apply two hazards and shift up twice, which I forgot to change my gear dice on yellow snow. So Donk and Dancing Jim are at gear three. Uh, let me check and see if, I don't think any turrets are within range. No turrets are within range. Can you see through vehicles to other stuff? Like, would I be able to draw a line of sight to this? Or yeah, not? absolutely. Okay. I think I do have a line of sight to the turret over here from Donk and Dancing Jim. And I do. They're in my front arc. So I'm going to shoot at that turret. No turrets can shoot at me, but I'm going to go ahead and shoot at that one with a minigun. And the minigun is um, 46. So, let me see something here real quick. Have a machine gun, minigun, minigun, minigun. Yes. I messed one thing up. What did you mess up? Normal machine guns only two D6. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and give this one back white because I rolled three for a normal machine gun. Uh, three for a normal machine gun. All right. <laughs> Somebody throw the cheater medal on Jolly right now. Cheater medal? I went back through them. <laughs> so, all right. Not those dice. Those are skid dice. So 46 for attacking this turd over here. So we got one crit. So two hits on it. So it is down to two as well. And that is it for Donk and Dancing Jim. And that is it for the first gear phase. So we're going to move on to gear phase number two. Gear phase dos. Pull position passes to you. You have first activation. All right. Well, first thing we're doing is moving Ramshackle out of the way of uh, Donk and Dancing Dance. Jim because they'll run them over and they know it. <laughs> um, so... We're going to continue to just move forward at this medium pace. So we'll go like that. I'm going to roll my three handling dice. Um, I do get a, well, I'm in gear four. So I will still get a free shift for being in gear four with moving forward medium. And got shift, shift, hazard. Plus your free shift. Plus free shift. We're going to cancel the hazard. We're going to remove the two hazards. That's really all we're going to do. So I go back down to zero hazards because I don't need to shift up at the moment. I'm in gear four out of a possible five. Yep. So I'm fine where I am at the moment. And then we're going to move Ramshackle up like this. All right. You are within this turret's range. Yep. Definitely so within that Only one range. turret's going to take a shot at you. Yep. And it'll hit you for one. So one hit. I'm in gear four, so I'll get four dice to try to roll a singular six. And we got it. You got it. So no damage. I evade those slow turret bullets. And it is in my front arc, so I'm going to actually wait a minute. 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 What do we got here? What do we got here? You got to tell me, Tony. I can't quite tell from this angle. Do I got you? Yeah, I'd say so. Whoa! We're going to shoot at uh, Footloose then. Okay. Because this is death arena, not kill the turd arena. All right. So machine gun. Two dice. See, I figured it out. We got it all figured out before it started actually mattering a bunch. I am very glad that you did that. Two dice. I am definitely out of machine gun range. And harpoon gun is also double. Can I fire? I could fire the harpoon gun and the machine gun because I have two crew, right? Yes. Do you make one big pool, and I choose what to evade when I roll my evades. So if I want to evade your harpoon shots, or if I want to evade your machine gun shots. Okay. So, but I have to roll the shots from the two of them separately. Would it, you like to matters, use right? some different colored dice for your different attacks? Yeah, we can do that. Um, give me two for the machine gun. So go. two for the machine gun, five for the harpoon gun. So that's what I'm going to roll. So we've got two machine gun hits, two harpoon hits. Okay. I'm in second gear as Footloose. So we're going to see if I get any evades. All right. I get no evades. No evades. All right. So I take two damage. Two damage. And you're going to pull me in. Because one hit would straighten you. The second hit pulls you, correct? Yep. And how far do I get pulled? Uh, it's a short. Well, you're going to pull me right into this turret. So you hit that. Does it count as a collision? It does. All right. So on the collision, uh, I'm going to declare an evade. It will declare an attack. An attack. It's and middle weight, so it is, uh, it is head on. So it's some of the gears, which is just my own which gear is in this just case. Yours. OK, so two is, two. Two is what I roll. Mm -hmm. And you're going to roll your gear for evasion, correct? Yes. All right. So one hit with the obstacle. One hit goes through, and I will gain two hazards because one of the parties declared a smash. Okay. Which was the uh, turret. Which was the turret. And this is destructible, so after the collision is resolved, it blows up. It goes away. All right, cool. So I didn't need to declare a smash. That's good. Okay. All right, so Ramshackle moved forward. Uh, the turret tried to hit, but Ramshackle did some fancy maneuvering. Yeah. And then harpooned and machine gunned Footloose. This All is right. fun stuff. 
way to go, Ramshackle, but that's all Ramshackle's got for now. Okay, we're gonna activate Dancing Queen. Dance, uh, before we do this, we did declare that this is difficult terrain. The big green goo Meaning pits. you'll get a hazard if you end your movement or go through it. Or Unless you're a monster truck. Unless you're a monster or truck. Or a tank, but we don't have any tanks. So anyways, we're gonna go medium straight with Dancing Queen. I will go into that dangerous terrain. Okay, getting a hazard for Team Slime is not the worst thing in the world though. No. Uh, we're gonna roll three handling. Nice. So we, we are doing pretty well with the uh, skid dice rolls tonight. Yeah, that is, that is pretty good, I would say. Uh, we're going to go up into four. We're going to get rid of that hazard. And I'm not going to go into five because being in five limits my options yeah. of what I can do. As soon as you go into gear five, you start, you, you have to take those longer options. You can't do as good a turns. So a few of my shift dice are going to go to waste, actually. You don't. Because oh, you've already yeah I've shifted up and I've canceled, canceled it. Everything. Yeah, it's fine. All right, and then we're gonna move. And then because my movement, at, which is past the point where I can spend skids or spend shifts, now I get another hazard for that. Okay, because of that, ramp down, ramp up. They probably can't tell from that angle that we could ramp through that because it's an empty crate. One gets a shot at me here. Uh, not was, quite over there. Say that was out. So one taking a shot on you. Yep. All right, so we got two dice, double six. Nope, just two hits. Okay, I'm in fourth gear. So four dice, get you a couple sixes. How about no sixes? Tony, you're not listening. I haven't rolled a, a single couple six. sixes. <laughs> I haven't rolled a single six. Well, then you're just saving them all up for later. Twitch, chat, Twitch. YouTube. If anyone wants to send me dice that work, please I was about ready send to it say. to the Guard Tower East. Reynoldsburg, Ohio. Attention to Tony. Please, I need some dice that yeah, work. Yeah, this would be the great first donation, so that way Tony can stop having to worry about underperforming of rolls. Someone's going to send you some cheap dice. <laughs> some loaded dice? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, this turret that's ahead of me is out of my range. So out of your facing, Out of correct? my facing. Uh, so I'm just going to take two handgun shots at, at that the turret. one? Okay. And nothing. Nothing. A whole cube of loaded dice. Tony needs it. <laughs> We're just going to have to erase the past month from table ready what history. Is, <coughs> what is edit and voice over everything? You roll dice and suddenly these like really cheaply looking fours and <laughs> fives and sixes will appear on them. And then we'll hear Clay's voice be like, boy, I'm glad that me, Tony, rolled so well. <laughs> Oh, man, I got seven hits <laughs> off of that. <laughs> the, the dice will just blur out so you can't argue with it. <laughs> All right. Uh, All right. Uh, that's it for the Dancing Queen. So now it's my go. All right. So now I think it's time to activate Donk and Dancing Jim. But the question is what to do with them. I think it, actually, I'm fine with doing a hairpin turn. I could go up and over stuff, but I would still I still collide with it. I could just choose to go over top of it after the collision and continue okay. my movement. So I still collide with this stuff, so I, all those rules still happen. But after it, if I can finish my movement to get over it, I can do that. <laughs> um, but what I'm going to do is a hard turn with them, because I can do that in third gear, which, what, which is what they're in. I will take a hazard just for doing that, though, Okay. with this gear. So it is one hazard for just doing the hard turn, which I believe I will end up on that. Yep, I'm going to end up on, just on it. I, can't, okay. I won't end up past it. So we'll do some collision turns. I'm not going to have enough movement to get past it, so I'm actually going to end up stopping before it. <laughs> okay. Um, but I still do... Resolve your skid Because I can still get a slide. Um, three of them. So I already took my one hazard. I'm up to three hazards. There's uh, slide. Slide, slide, shift. Um, and two slides don't do anything, right? It just gives you two hazards. Two hazards. You get a hazard whenever you resolve a slide or spin. All right. Uh, that slide is... A slide might run me into something, too. Hmm. Never know until it happens. 
Yeah. That's the wondrous thing about this game. Hmm. Because boom, right there. Yeah, I'll definitely hit something with that slide too. Run right into this. You know what? We're gonna push it, and I can re-roll whichever dice I want. Yep. So we're gonna push it, re-roll the two slides. So I'm gaining another hazard token. <laughs> the exact same thing. Um, well, right, so no matter what, you're gonna slide here. Yep. So I'm going to cancel one of those, do a slide, which means that this template gets placed down. And I end up on this side of this, which, yeah, I definitely you, hit Yep, that. you'll go until you can't. So and right there. will be a collision. So that is heavyweight. And I'm heavyweight. Which is pretty good. So it's just your gear then. Uh, gear three. So gear three. So I'm roll. evading. You're declaring an evade? Yep. All right, the gas station declares a smash. You don't say. <laughs> Two hits. Two hits. All right. So, <laughs> I'm in gear three, so I roll three, five sixes. We got this. Or none. Two damage. Two damage and two hazards, which means I am going to wipe out. Uh, first, you get your attack step, but you are in contact with something, so you're distracted. Yep. And I'm assuming you don't have a rule that lets you bypass that? No. All right, so skipping the attack step, going straight to the wipeout. How this works is if a vehicle has six or more hazards during the wipeout step, doesn't need to be its own, it will do a flip check. You roll a d6, if you roll lower than your current gear, then you flip, you suffer two hits, and you force medium straight forward. Right. So you so need to go higher. Lower than, lower than or lower than or equal to? If lower than current gear, okay. suffer two hits. So you need higher. So higher. There you go. You meet or beat. Yep, so... I do need to take my two damage from the collision. So we're taking that two damage from the collision. Yep. And so now you didn't flip, but you still wipe out. So going to gear one. Gear one. And all of my hazard all hazards. Tokens. And then I get to choose your facing. And we're going we're gonna to put you, rotate you, and make you go a little bit that way. Okay. Uh, sad thing is, Donk and Dance and Jim. What? What? Got turret shots. We did forget the turret shots. We'll go back and do okay. that real quick. Uh, but Donk and Dance and Jim was reset to gear one, so he won't go for the rest of the gear phase. Yep, which means he'll just be ready later on for lots of mayhem and death. Yep. Uh, real quick, we've got that one turret. We have one turret that should have resolved at the end there. 2d6 shots, one, one hit. hit. I was still gear phase three yep. when that happened, so... Nope, no evasion, so a third point of damage. And I had I had seven, seven, nope, so no slime bonus, because I was at I was at seven hazards before yep. they cleared, but I had seven hull points left, so. All right, we're gonna go with Footloose, because if I go with Manic Monday, you're gonna smash. It's just gonna smash right into Footloose, and we don't want that. So we're gonna do a turn. Are you sure you don't want that? We're gonna go there. I get no bonus for taking a turn in the uh, second gear, so right. I just get three skid dice. My skid dice have been nice to me. It's my dice dice that have been not very nice. You got this. Here we turn. go. Yeah, that's see, what we're they looking for. To be nice to you. Shifts. We're going to shift up one, go into third, and then we're going to get rid of two. So I'll, I was at three, and I go down up one, and then get rid of two. I'm at net two hazards. Okay. That's how the math works out. All right. Going to the end. Burn within, Definitely within, within range. range of that one, but that's the only one. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. 2d6. One hit. One hit. I am in third gear. No evades. Still no sixes for tonight. That's another damage on the footloose. Uh, the premier race isn't going so good. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to take two handguns. Shots at. Yeah, you got the turret, but you don't yep. have me. I've got the Caltrop dropper, which would drop over here. And I don't think you plan on coming over here. So I'm not going to drop that. So we're just going to shoot 2d6 into that turret. Nothing. Not All right, a... cool. Uh, after the break, I will be back with a new set of dice. <laughs> Tony's like, these ones are done for already. He, I'm just going to... He's like, all my dice from this point on get six rolls, and then no more. 
I'm going to find my arch enemy, and I'm going to give them the gift of dice. And then they'll roll perfectly with them. Because hey, Jolly, that reminds me. I got you something. Just, just some out, dice. Just out of curiosity. <laughs> out of curiosity. Is it the hands or is it the dice? It's the dice. It's looking dicey. All right, so it's my go again. Spicy and dicey. Uh, yeah, that was my attack step, oh. and I am not at six hazards. None of your guys are at six hazards, so no wipeouts. All right, so I've got yellow snow, and we're going to do with yellow snow a turn. Ooh, Should put that's going like to be that. interesting. All right, so we're going like that. Um, I'm in gear four, so I'll get a hazard just for taking that turn. Hmm. And hmm. then we're going to roll my handling dice. Uh, three of them. Let's grab the right dice. Shift, shift, hazard. That looks all right, because we'll cancel this hazard, and then we'll cancel another one. So I'll go down to two hazards total. And... Yeah, I don't need to shift up because I'm in gear four, which is a pretty nice gear at the moment. That is a pretty nice gear. So then, we are going to hit some stuff here in a minute, but that's fine because I... That's a problem for next gear that's, phase. That's a problem for next gear phase because I, I achieved what I wanted, and that's drawing the line of sight on one of your cars. <laughs> so, this is double. I've definitely got the double because it's another temple on top of this, and you're definitely inside my front arc. Yes. Uh, but first, let's do some turrets. One... One turret. So go ahead and take your turret shots first. All right, here we go. Here we go. Turret dice. One, One hit. hit. Gear four. So four evasion dice. Evaded, evaded. Hmm. Okay. Ha. <laughs> <Huh. Ooh. laughs> Woo. Woo. Get him, Jim Bob. <laughs> I don't think I don't think I've seen a single six on my dice this entire game so you far. You haven't. I'm stealing all That's of them, a, and I've rolled a lot of dice. It is. It is, and I'm blaming all of my tools. All right. So the heavy machine gun <laughs> will be able to shoot at you. I've got a second crew, and we're just going to handgun this turret. Yep. So, which so one are you doing first? We'll do the turret first. Okay. Um. Yep. So one d six. Turret first. One d six. Nothing. 3d6 on the heavy machine gun, because that's a heavy machine gun. Heavy machine gun. Yep. Ooh. That's what made me think, because I got minigun, heavy machine gun, machine gun. <laughs> Too many guns. <laughs> Never enough. <laughs> so one crit for two hits. All right, fourth gear. Sixes! <laughs> I rolled some sixes, and I blocked all of your hits. All right. So then that is yellow snows go. All right, we're going to go with Manic Monday. Manic is going to make a turn, try to get around this little rock here nicely. Is there any take? Yep. Looks like this should work out pretty well. Yep, there we go. Uh, two skid dice. No bonus for taking it in this gear. We're going to re-roll that because that landed out. That's the ruling we've yep. been going with. Yep. The crowd kids. Ooh, cool. so that's hazards. a push, right? I, I think that's a push. I, <laughs> Do I take two hazards or one? Well, we'll see after the reroll. <laughs> and we're going to put those dice back, and we're going to get two new ones. So it's like, you have failed? <laughs> Moving on. Listen, I don't believe in like superstitions, but my dice are cursed. <laughs> slide, a slide and a spin. spin. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> That'll be awesome. Oh, no. <laughs> So I'm going to get two hazards, because I'm going to have to resolve both of them. There you go. And then, got the slide template. It's going to fit into the notch oh, on the side of the beautiful, curve beautiful, because that means you will not be shooting me like you were going we're gonna to. We're going to go, and we're going to slide out here. But then you get to spin. And then I get to spin. So you still could shoot me. And I'm going to go and look like that. All right, let's see. That, didn't, that wasn't horrible then. Uh, you know what? Besides all of the hazard yeah. tokens. I've got four hazards on the boy. It's fine. What can you say? Uh, Manic Monday has a harpoon and a mortar. Both are double range. All right, so both of them got range. We know that. And I've got yep. line of sight to you. So we're going to go and we're going to do both. I'm going to harpoon you and mortar you. Okay. And I, no one else is in range for the handgun, so that's it. So we're going to start. I need the want? mortar is 46. Thank you. All right, so pink dice are the mortar. T 
teal dice or the harpoon. One hit with the mortar. <laughs> and the harpoon, uh, let's see here. The mortar was indirect, so it doesn't even care about terrain. But the harpoon, oh my goodness. <laughs> you didn't need, oh, the, you no. didn't need all that with the harpoon. Whoa. Okay, so one, two, all the six three, four, here. five, six, seven, eight, nine hits with the harpoon. Too bad the harpoon doesn't do damage. Yeah, I'm glad it doesn't. So you basically, you're moving me forward short, right? Yeah. Because I think that's all it still does. Yes. But it's you need to roll me. your evasions still, because yep. you can... So I've got four on Ramshackle. You've got one damage, and you've got nine harpoon. I don't think we're going to worry about evading Nine harpoon. harpoon. Just, just saying. Reroll this one. Yep, so one damage, and... You're going to face directly harpoon. towards me. Which and I you're almost gonna go was forward. Already. Short, straight. So go forward until you collide with what you collide. Which is that turret, I believe. Yep. All right. So the turret smashes you. You decide what you would like to do back. Uh, we're going to evade because it doesn't do me any good to smash because it's going to be destroyed anyway, right? All right. Uh, what is your gear? Four. Four. So it's going to roll four dice. Two hits. Two hits. One evasion, so one more damage. No hazards, because I got a ram on the front. And yeah, there we go. Well. And that's it for that gear phase, right? Well, well, well. Uh, let me tell you, Jolly, I don't think Footloose was meant for a death arena. I think Footloose's callings may have been elsewhere. My, for like a the death dance race floor. where getting in front of things and dropping caltrops is... May or may not have designed it. May or may not have just picked what was there. You never know. All right. So new gear phase. We're going gear phase three. Three. And you got pole position this time. I do. Uh, Manic Monday is going to be unable to go because Manic Monday was unable to shift. Yeah, because of all of your rolls. Yep. <laughs> That's all right. I'm down one, too, so you're not really falling real, real, real far behind. All righty. Um, so the question is, which of your... Because you're going to want to do a turn with Dancing Queen. <laughs> I am going to want to do a turn with Dancing Queen. Uh... I'm pretty confident that you're going to collide in here, even with a swerve. I'm pretty sure a collision's happening over there. So I'm not going to need to worry about that. I'm going to go with, yeah, the Dancing Queen. We're going to, let's see here. I mean, fourth gear, only a medium gives me free stuff. So we're going to go with a gentle turn. I'm going to go through these hazards still. Uh, three. Skid dice. Okay. Do you still get a hazard for going through, for being in that terrain? So I'll be ending in the terrain. So you will yeah, then? Yeah, I'll still okay. get a hazard. Do it, if, Tony! I believe the rule is if you move through or end in rough terrain. You get a hazard? Yes. Okay. Oh. Well. Huh. I don't hmm. think you want that slide. I think we're going to, that was on a slide. We're going to push it. Push it. Push it real Nice like. So that way you get two slides. Two hazards, two slides, eight eight shifts. You got this. Move that over. Or all shifts. All the there shifts. You go. Every single shift. Uh, I really like being in fourth gear. So I'm just going to drop down to no hazards. Including, well, not no hazards and then waste a... And then I will, yep. And then I'll go to the end here. Okay. And then I'll gain a hazard for the dangerous terrain. Okay. Ha ha ha. And it um, looks like you're within range of one turret. Yep, just one. Ready for this? Kapow! It's kapow! 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 Owen Wilson style. Kapow! Wow! <laughs> nope, nothing. It was very Owen Wilson style. Beginning the movie for some comedic relief. Kapow! Alright, we're gonna shoot right back at that one. Because shooting is fun. Kapow! There you go. Two hits. That's down to two. Wow! Wow! Kapow! Alright, so next, we're going to go for Ramshackle. 
is... So, we're calling the red the part... Okay, that's what I was about ready to ask. Okay, so I need to do a big, big old turn. Hairpin's too much. A hard turn. I can't do a hard turn because I'm in gear four. What can I do in gear four? Hmm, and now that I'm seeing the board state, I should definitely have moved Footloose. <laughs> He's now realizing that Footloose isn't in the best spot where Ramshackle is. <laughs> definitely looked over the board, saw Ramshackle, and was like, that's not a threat. I was wrong. It's a threat. Oops. <laughs> hmm. So we may be going to a second game here. Let's say we do a death race. Oh, man. <laughs> We're just going to do a normal turn. Normal turn? I think so. All right. Oh, actually, I don't know. That might not be enough. Mm -hmm. Got to make your selection. I know. What no. are you going to choose? It's either that or a swerve. I think a swerve would definitely keep me safe. But, oh, you know what? A swerve, a swerve is fine. I might not get to do anything to a foot loose, but I think a swerve will put me in an all right position because right. I don't have to worry about... Um, Manic Monday doing anything. So I'm going to go for Swerve. Like so. Ooh, and I might still actually clip you. I don't think you will. You don't think I will? Yeah. All right, we'll see here in a sec. It's centered, right, though? So that way when I move it? Yes. Okay. So three handling dice. Um, Ramshackle's currently at no hazards. You took this in fourth gear. So I do you get, get a hazard I do for get taking a, a I do get a hazard. fourth gear. That, and that's fine. So I get one for taking that. Three dice. A slide, which we do not want. And a hazard. A shift and a hazard. Yes. I don't know. That sounds like a push it to me. That's fine. No, that's fine. We're going to take the hazard and cancel this. So I'm going to go up to two hazards. Okay. And because I don't want the slide, because the way the direction I would slide would be off this way, which would be bad. Correct. All right. So let's see. Moment of truth, Tony. Oh, I think no. I just I just barely want to you. straighten yourself on that. Yeah, that's a, that's my back wheels. There you go. Right? Yep, so we're good. Uh, oh. What facing is your harpoon? Front. So you can't harpoon Footloose. But you can harpoon Manic Monday. I can harpoon Manic Monday. Or I can machine gun Manic Monday. Didn't he harpoon you? We both have harpoons. So you yeah. Pull each other That's so what we, we do. Go, we meet and we both have front facing rams. Friendship harpoons. For a kiss. We're <laughs> just going Lady in the Trampet. <laughs> I've, I've got, we're going Lady in the Trampet with the harpoons. <laughs> it's just a, it's a romantic car on car story. All righty. All right, I'm, I'm not going to harpoon, though. I don't want to pull you into me. I want to shoot you. All right, shoot away. So we're going to go with, we know the machine gun. Yep, I can get the normal machine gun and the handgun. Three dice total, two for machine gun, one for handgun. And actually, I could handgun the back of him. We're going to handgun him. Sure. Hitting me in the back does nothing different. Except for doing a point of damage to you. If you hit, Okay. All right. You said it weird. <laughs> <laughs> or two, maybe. There's a six against Footloose. Yep. See? See? It does stuff. Going down fast. And then the machine gun hits on Manic Monday, right? Yes. Two more hits with another six. Manic's in second gear. I'm so glad Tony's all sixes was his harpoon and not something else, because that would have just instantly guffed one of my guys. So. so two more hits, right? Yes. Okay. Dark all right. and Jim are going are gonna to beat up ramshackle and yellow snow because they're taking all the fun <laughs> well we're gonna go with a uh, foot loose ba, 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 da. foot loose hits a gentle turn gentle turn how dare you just be gentle with your foot loose uh you got three handling no bonus for taking this in third gear all right Bad. Shift, a shift, and a hazard. So tell you what. Plus, there's no point in pushing we that. Cancel that. Yep. And we go. See, it is third now, correct? Yes. So, so we're have... gonna put, we're gonna go up into fourth. Okay. Gain a hazard. See. Gain one hazard. 
All right, so you're all set there. Uh, yeah, I think you got a nice shot on me, but I think you're in trouble next turn. <laughs> That's okay. That's a gear phase four problem. Um, pistols? Mm. Or are you going to drop some caltrops? Uh, I think I just need to shoot you right now. Mm -hmm. I could mm -hmm. drop some caltrops. Wait a minute, Tony. We're forgetting something. One, two. Oh, no. <laughs> so these are two separate attacks, I believe. Two separate? Because you roll against each one evasion. Yes. Okay, that makes sense. So the first one. One hit. Fourth gear. Nothing. I take one. Second one. Nothing. All right. Just taking one. Um, huh. Okay. Suddenly, gear gear phase four problems are looking pretty bad. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna shoot you. Handgun. Yep. Two right. handgun shots into yellow snow. Yep. So I see one, two hits. I'm in gear four. So nothing. So two shot, two hits. And that's Yellow Snow's first damage. So take it down to 10 hit points because I do have armor plating on Yellow Snow for okay. the two hull points. Yeah. And it's my go, right? It is. I don't think there's anything Yellow Snow can do besides collide with that. Because regardless of what I choose, I'm going to hit that before I would even hit you with something, I think. Unless a swerve might do it. And I don't think a swerve will even do it. We're going to try a swerve, though. That's the only thing that might clip you before it clips that. You're in fourth gear, right? You'll get a hazard. I'll get a hazard. And that's fine. All right. So Yellow Snow is getting the hazard for swerve. Let's check the tapes. Yeah. Yep, I'm going to collide with that. Yeah. Before I would collide with anything else. So let's do the rolls first. Let's do the rolls. Because I don't think a... Even a slide won't even help you. Even a slide won't do it. Because you'll touch it before you hit the slide template. Yep. Okay. So let's still do the rolls. Three dice. I already took my one hazard. Slide, slide, spin. Those are lots of hazards that don't, don't do anything. So we're going to push for another one. And we're rolling all three of these. That's going to... I'm going to end up wiping out. So... And you're going to smash into it anyways, which gives you two more hazards. Yep. So I'm going to end up wiping out. So we're just going to do cancel, gain a hazard, just because that's the easiest. And then I move up, and I would have just collided right there before I actually started turning any. All right. Uh, Evade. Yep. What's your gear? Uh, no, no, no. Wait, actually. Before... I, I don't know. It's still the movement first. step. Okay, the collision cool. happens during your movement All right. step. So, yeah. Um, gear four? Gear four. Hit, hit. Two hits. So I take two damage. I'm down to eight. And now uh, you are safe from the second turret. All right. So one so turret one shoots turret. at you. One hit. One hit. Gear four. Evade it, and okay. you are distracted. You cannot shoot back. I'm distracted. Cannot shoot back. You gain two. I gain two, which means I will wipe out. And we're now in the wipeout step. So do your flip check. Flip check. Not lower. Yep. Meet it or beat it, and you're fine on the flip. All right. So I'm gear gear one, and all the hazards clear. We're gonna take and we're gonna rotate you. that way so you're not touching this but okay. i have you pointed off in that direction all right that's fine because i'll just go straight past it then if i go straight so that's all right all right so then that's it for the gear phase so next gear phase gear phase four we're going to take a short break we'll be back for the rest of the game for the rest of the round and Hopefully some more carnage is going to happen. I have a prediction as to which car is going to go out first, but we'll see if it actually plays out. We'll see you guys in five minutes, okay?
I'm Jolly. And I'm still Tony. And this is Table Ready. So Tony just went and bought new dice. I did. And Let's ceremoniously threw people. the old ones away. <laughs> I, they are actually in the trash can. They, they so are. I'm not rolling them yet because we don't know if they're cursed or not. But, but here are the new shiny babies. He got new dice. So he might be broke by the end of the night if these ones roll poorly too. Uh, but we're getting back to Gaslands. Yep, we're at gear phase five, which I don't four. believe... Four. I, phase I four. We it went up to four. Before we went to... Yep. Good correction. All right. Four and pull passes to you. All right. So I have first go. I only have one vehicle that can still go, and that's Ramshackle right over here. The rest of them are have wiped out um, and had to drop down the gear one, so they won't be able to go until next round. So Ramshackle is going to go, and uh, Ramshackle is going to, in gear four, is going to do a turn. Just a normal turn towards our friend right over here, Manic Monday. So that will definitely be a collision at the end, of, before the end of this. So Ramshackle is going to do a turn, which is going to bring him right into a front end collision with Manic Monday here. But first, we're going to roll some skid dice. What are you looking at, Tony? I, I'm reading a rule for the future. For the future? So I don't have to read it while things are happening. Ah, oh, I see. He's, he's being a seer. He's reading a rule for the future. Like in 2025, they will add this to the book. <laughs> He's so intent. I'm going to roll all these dice. I just blow them up. He's never going to notice. All right. So I have shift slide hazard, which I am not a fan of. So we're going to, we're just going to cancel the slide. And, oh, if I do that, though, won't be able to go next gear phase. No, you won't. Which is fine. Because you're either dead or wiping out, probably. <laughs> I've got three whole Which points. You got that one over there. Uh, you know what? We might as well push it and re-roll both of these. Keep the shift. So we're going to push it, take a hazard, up to three on ramshackle. Shift and hazard. Much better. So we will cancel that. Shift up one so I can keep going. Uh, da, da, da. So I am shifting to five. Another one for that shift up. So I'm at four. And then we've got, oh, I should get rid of this activation token from last round. Then we're going to go brrrr, clunk. It's a head-on attack. Head-on collision. All right. As the initiator of this collision, do you declare a smash? Yes. Or it, you smash? Yes. I also smash back. Sweet. So we're each going to roll seven, because we each have a front ram, and I'm gear five. So, so oh, no. It's a, your... it's a front-facing attack. We add... What's Our your, gears together. Your gear can't be at two. All right, no, it is at two. It is at you two. Just did go. Okay. So his is two. Yours is five. So seven plus two because we each have a ram on the front that we're colliding with. Yes, and we will both take no hazards because we have a ram on the front. Yep. So we're just gonna smash each other. Go for damage. Let's see how those dice roll, Tony. I'll let You're you go first. You're the initiators, sir. Gladly. Eighteen sixes. Two sixes. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Damage. One, two, three, four, five, six. Beautiful. And now for Manic Monday. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. That's definitely better than what you have had. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm down to two. Huh. I'm also down to two. All right. Um, I am distracted because I am in contact with you. Uh, but I do have more hazards than I have hull points, so I get a fan boat. There you go. So what can I use the fan boats for when we're doing this? Because there's no respawning. So I could drop hazards, I could add hazards, yes, but I had can. to do all this before. Spending audience votes. Spend one vote to change your gear up or down. Spend one vote to remove D6 hazards. Spend two votes to put an enemy vehicle on five hazards. Reload an ammo or take or give pull position. Okay. Or prevent so, it to pass. And that has to happen before I go. But I do yes, at I do get an opportunity to do it even if I don't have any cars that can go when it comes to my turn, correct? Yes, so if I'm going back to back, you've got a spot in between my two activations. Okay, cool. So I got one fan vote. That's it for Ramshackle. Uh, we are going to... Let's see. Fourth gear. 
It's not very good. So we're going to go with Footloose. We're going to make it or break it here. Um, pretty sure I'm going to collide with you no matter what here. I'm going to do a gentle turn into you to make sure that I collide with you first. Okay. Which, yes. yes. You will definitely collide into me first. All right. Ciao. Three skids. Three skids. Slide, slide, shift. Uh, slides won't matter. Nope. You won't even get that far on the template. So, you going to push it? Or are you just going to accept your fate? We'll, we'll push it. All right. Pushing it. Pushing it sounds fun. So, keep in one shift and then a slide it's hazard. Worse. It's even worse. All right. Uh, we're going to go down one hazard. Okay. And then we're going to go up two hazards because of the hazard and the slide. All right. But I won't even slide. I go forward and I T-bone you. Yep. Uh, I am going to use my Fender Kiss ability. So when this vehicle makes a smash attack, which I declare a smash, mm -hmm. this vehicle suffers a penalty of minus two attack dice. Vehicles making a smash attack targeting this vehicle suffer a penalty of minus two attack dice. Okay, so you just less attack dice when you're ramming mm -hmm. into something. Okay, yep. but also less on you. Yes. So what gear are you? Because you're T-boning me, so it's your gear, correct? Fourth gear. So it's just your gear. Yes, my gear. Okay, but minus two, mm -hmm. so it's two. And I can evade, or I can smash back. If you smash back, it's at minus two. Which, no point, so I'm going to evade because I'm only at gear one. <laughs> it's kind of like a deterrent. Yep. So one, one hit. hit. Yeah, come here. Nope. So one damage. So yellow snow goes down one more to a total of seven left. And turret's now shooting at you. Yep. Uh, I go up two hazards because of that collision. So you got two turrets shooting at you. First turret is one hit. Fourth here. One damage. One damage. It's getting close. Haha. -ha. I noticed that that roll was all ones and twos. Two hits with a crit. If I don't block any of these, done. I'm done skis. You blocked one. So you I got blocked one. one. Hit point I have left. one health. One hold point left. Oh no. <laughs> but now, wipe out, right? I, I do wipe out. So, need or beat my gear. Yup. You got it. I met my gear. I don't take any damage. I go down to first gear, lose all my hazards, and you spin me. I'm going to... Like that. So you're not in contact with it, but... <laughs> we'll do that. That's okay. I can just back up. You can. Yeah. Moving on. Um, back to you. So I don't have anything to activate. But you can I spend an audience one, vote. But I'm going to spend an audience vote. How many hazards is... Queen's um, at one. At one? Mm -hmm. I can spend one to up you to five, or is it more than one? It's two to put me to five. Okay, so I can't really do anything with the one I have at the moment. You can change your gear, or you can remove D6 hazards. Oh, removing D6 hazards might not be bad, but what we're going to do is we're going to spend it to change the gear on Ramshackle down by one, go up to five hazards. So that Alrighty. way I have better selection... That leaves me with the Dancing Queen. Uh, queen is going to make, I believe, a turn. Yes. Yes, we are. All right. We're going to squeak by. Uh, I get a hazard for taking this in fourth gear. Let's see what your dice can do. Three skids. Oh. Shifting and sliding. We're going to push it. Oh, yeah. I don't like to you don't see want those slide slides. at all. You go away. Two new dice. Two newish dice. Much That's better. Much, much better. I'm going to simply drop all three hazards that I own. Okay. And we're going to go. We're going to be over here. I believe two attacks are coming my way. Yep. You got two of them from two different turrets. So, first turret is one hit. 
see here. I'm in yeah, fourth gear. Yep. So I dodge bait. one hit with a six. Second turret is one hit. And you dodge it. I dodge it. Dancing These Queen wants to stay alive. better overall. Um, uh, I'm going to put both of my handguns right in the yellow snow. Okay. Do it. No hits. Or don't do it. Either one. Uh, but that's at the end of Gear Phase 4 then, right? Moving up to no, we Gear Phase 5. We don't have anybody that can go in Gear Phase 5. So we go to next round, right? Yep. Go all the way back down to Uno. Look at that. Round 2. I know. Wow. Sounds crazy being like, we've been playing for an hour and 15 minutes. We're on the second round. Even though we've actually gone through like four rounds, if you think about it. All right. So that means everybody's going to be able to start doing stuff again. Mm -hmm. Anybody who didn't wipe out and go down to Gear 1 will still be operating as if they're on their current gear, correct? As far as choosing templates and stuff. Yes. Um, pull position. Wait, I can... Oh, pull position goes back to you. Pull position goes to me. All right, I need to make some decisions here. Dancing Queen, I think, has got to do some stuff here. It's looking like you've got to do a swerve if you don't want to mash into something. <laughs> I think that is pretty accurate. But will the swerve send me into that turret is the question. I don't think a swerve would send you into the turret. You're going to get shot by the turret, but I, I uh, honestly think the swerve will get you I past agree. that stuff. I We'll go and see if the swerve... Yeah, we're good with the swerve. Yep. All right, uh, Dancing Queen has Delicate Touch as one of its perks, so I get to ignore Hazards on Moving templates. Ooh, nice. I really need to look at those perks and everything. I always get so wound up in the weapons, I'm like, more weapons. We don't need good drivers, we got guns. Uh, so that is a slide, a hazard, and a Ooh, hazard. That is not good at all. You know what that sounds like to me? Sounds like a push it. That sounds like pushing it real good. Real nice like. Real good. Real, real, a real quality push there. <laughs> all right, three shifts. That's better. Just what I want to see. Um, so we're going to shift down into third gear. Okay, so you get a hazard from that. And then we're going to drop two hazards. And then you drop both the hazards that you have accumulated. Yes. Okay. We go. We swerve all the way over here. Get past that. There is one turret that can shoot you. Because <laughs> those none of those other ones are definitely up in range. So, see that double six? It's fate. Nope, just one of them. Just half fate. Two hits. Blocking one. One. So one damage. Dancing Queen's my... She's good. Uh, all right, so it's my turn. I have got a smoke dropper, uh, and I think I want to drop it at this point. So let's see, how does smoke dropper work? On page 80 of the book. This is the one that I didn't read of the two that I should have read. Oh, Tony, Tony, Tony. I believe smoke dropper just... It's one of your templates. It's an obstruction for purposes of determining cover. Okay. When you are in the smoke, you are distracted. Okay. Uh... You will gain a hazard at the end of your movement step if your movement template or final position touch the drop weapon. So what, what template smoke is Smoke is large. Large? Okay. So we're going to drop some smoke right there. Cool. Uh, that is one. And then the second one is going to fire the machine gun into your big boy right there. Okay. You got uh, it. I think you might have cover. How does cover work in this game? That is something I don't know. I've never had to use cover before. Never had to use cover? Let's just say for the sake of expediency that I don't get cover. And we can look it up when we get some right. chance. You are, you are willing to accept here and now that you do not take... I'm willing to play the game in the name of Carnage and Mayhem. So that way we may keep it going. Yeah, okay. I'm fine with that. <laughs> Tony's like, you sold me. We're good. All right, you heard that internet. He takes it, no matter what it is. All Tony's right, just gonna roll one 2d6 anyway, machine gun attack. Dice. One hit. I am gear one. Six. Nope, three. So one damage. So I'm down to six. And is that it? That is it for the Dancing Queen. All right, we're gonna go with um, we're going to go with Donk and 
Dancing Jim. So Donk and Dancing Jim, since they're in first gear, they can back up as if this is their front edge and they're mm -hmm. going that direction. And I can still shift up during that movement, right? So that way yes, I you can, can do something during the next gear phase? Exactly. All right. So hairpin turn is too much. A hard turn. I don't think will get me there what I want. Maybe hairpin turn is what I want. I think so, though. Or do I just want to go forward? So are we counting this as an edge of the board? Like, if I yes. run into it, I'm done? Yep. Okay. Hmm. Big question, big question. Big question indeed. Okay. Well, I think we're going to do, we're definitely going to back up. Question is, how do I want to back up? Hairpin turn is not going to be good because I'll come out over here still hitting that building, hitting that building, which I don't want to do. In the name of Carnage, choose a template. I am going to do a normal turn. There we go. Oh, no, hard turn. Sorry. Hard uh -huh. turn. Which might still not be good. Well, it's down on the table. We'll find out. All right. So Roll your skids. Skid dice. Three plus one shift, shift. Shift spin. One shift for taking this in first gear. Yep. And a free shift for first gear. So we're going to take that. Uh, we'll take the spin just in case I do get it. So, and we'll shift up twice. So you'll take three hazards. One so, for the spin. Yep. Two for shifts. And you have one shift remaining. And I'll just cancel one of the hazards. So I'll be two hazards up on Donk and Dancing Jim. And let's see. Nope, not quite. Nope, I hit it. So I'm going to evade. All right, it was going to smash, obviously. You are in second gear. Second gear. Three hits. Three hits. Nope, nothing. So three hits down to four. I'm just going to count on all the terrain to deal with Donk and Dancing Jim. That's what they're going to, that's what's going to happen. All right, and two hazards. So that means fan vote because I now have more hazards than hull points. This is true. And you're go, because they're activated. Uh, we are going to go with Footloose. Footloose is going to go a gentle turn backwards. We're going to do this. All right. I want to stay alive. Uh, I get one free shift for taking a gentle turn in first gear. And so that well, is bad. shift, 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 hazard. I'm going to cancel that hazard. Okay. I'm going to shift up a gear, and then I'm going to cancel that hazard. So we'll be in second gear with no hazards. And we're going to beep, 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 go back here. All right. Uh, in there is no buddy. Nope. But I can shoot back here. Yep. So I'm going to try and pick you off real quick. And we're going to... Two dice? Two dice handgun attack. No. no hits. Nope. No hits. Not picking me off. No hits. Why would I hit? All right. Let's see what to do now. We're going to go with Ramshackle over here. Mm -hmm. Ramshackle is going to... Now, because you're in contact at the start of your turn, you could ignore what you're in contact with. Yep. And I'm in gear four frame shackle, so I gotta make sure I choose a legal turn. We're going to just do a normal turn, which will be like this. Okay. Um, three for the gear shift. Shift, shift, slide, because this would be down already so I can see it. And I don't like that slide, because I'll just slam into you. So what we'll do is we'll cancel that, and also with this one, get rid of one of the hazards. So I go down to four hazards. We're then going to move ramshackle, like so. So the ramshackle is safely over here. And I'm going to shoot you with... I'm going to shoot Manic Monday with some handguns. 
two handgun shots. So two handgun shots on Manic Monday. A crit for two hits. Manic is in second gear. That's double ones, two damage. And that is Manic Monday? Is Manic Monday. First decimation death. Done right. for. Gone of the game. You good? We'll skid to a halt. We'll go up here. He's out of here. There we go. Uh, Sorry. And then we're going to see if I explode. I have two ammo tokens, so I'm going to roll a die, add two. If I hit six, I explode. All right. Do it. No. Nope. No explosions. So he's just a wreck. And then I become a wreck. Pow. Pow. That's okay. That That's was Manic, Manic Monday. Monday. Manic was going to go. Manic was going to do some fun stuff. Not anymore. But no, no. you got to be a jerk about it. All right. Uh, my blue truck doesn't do anything exciting. Yours doesn't do anything exciting. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Has Dancing Queen activated this round? I don't remember. Chat. Uh... Has Dancing Queen activated this round? You had pull, so you went first. I've only activated... I've activated one, two. You've activated one, two. Yeah. All right. Had so to have. That's it for me. So I've got one more, because that, that's got to be correct, right? Because you had pole position, so you went first. We know you didn't activate Manic Monday, so those had to have been your two. Yes, they had. So it was Yellow Snow's good. turn. So Yellow Snow's turn. So I've got to try to get... I'm going to take a hazard from that template, right? By going through it? Yep. But I am in first, so I can actually back up if I want to. Do I think I can? We're going to try a hairpin turn. which looks like it'll work. So hairpin turn on um, three skid dice. Shift, 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 beautiful. Um, we're gonna shift up twice to third gear, cancel one of those hazards so I only get one hazard. So I'm currently at one hazard on yellow snow. Yellow snow is going just like that. Uh -oh. You are in Stop. one turret. One turret. Okay, so one turret takes shots at me. Outside. So two hits. And evasion dice. Okay, yellow snow will survive this regardless. Uh, one hit, because I evaded one of them. So yellow snow is down to six hull points. And from there, I could kind of just shoot you with handguns, because I have... Heavy machine gun and handgun on yellow snow. Heavy machine gun doesn't have a beat on anyone. So two handguns into, I gotta see something real quick. Nope, not within range there. Yeah, so two handguns into Dancing Queen. Sounds good. All right, here we go. Two hits. Two go through. Two go through. Now, there is a variant for evasion, which we are not using because it's not official mm -hmm. rules, but uh, the variant makes it less punishing to be hit by attacks. So it, it, the faster you're going, the better your evasions will be. That sounds lame. Hey, <laughs> for a death race, it's much better. For a death race, it's much better? Well, you, yeah. you respond to death races, though. I'm fine with the rate it, you take damage in this game. Because it keeps it moving along. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's it. So I moved, I shot, did Gear stuff. Gear phase two, we're going on. Gear phase two. Gear phase two, round two. All right. Full position, so full position passes to you. Me. Oh, man. Um, so the question is, Donk, Dancy Jimmy, you guys going to do anything? You got to do something. Question is, what do we do? They're in gear three. They only have three hull points left. Um. <laughs> um. We are going to. Swerve. Could be good enough. 
through this gentle turn which I mash me to. So while he decides this, okay. chat, tell me, what are, you, what are some names that you would name your Gasland cars? Let me know in the chat. Yellow Snow. Are you chat? Huh? Yeah. We have asked this question multiple weeks in a row. You are jolly. What do I say every week? You are jolly. Hi, <laughs> I'm jolly. That is how you start the stream every week. I also call us tabletop half the time. <laughs> so you're just wrong. We'll assume that he's always wrong, folks. Hairpin turn. So hairpin turn will end up looking like that. Yep. So I won't even run into anything. I wouldn't be able to go over top of this, but I would still do the collision first. So I kind of wanted to avoid the collision if it was possible. Ah, come on. Um, I want to try to do something with them besides kill myself on terrain. <laughs> <laughs> Um, all right, so we're going to roll our three dice, our three skid dice. We've got a slide, slide, and a hazard. That's not going to go. So I we're think gonna, you should keep those slides. We are going to push and probably just wipe out again. <laughs> Shift. Slide. Yeah, we are going to wipe out again. Uh, that's just how it's going to go. Um, do so you want to slide or do you want to spin? I want to spin because... Do you want to go for the rest of the game? I mean, I don't, I don't get an option. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna wipe out either way. Oh, because we are in second. Yeah. 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 Um. It's about been... damage control. You've got some right. car name suggestions. Ooh. Enter. Oh, hit me with those car name suggestions, Clay. Enterprise, Voyager, and Stargazer. Wow, <laughs> Mom. <laughs> Very good names. How original. All right. We're, just, we're taking the spin, which doesn't. Yeah, we're ah. taking the spin. Doesn't matter because you want to spin me anyway. So we're going to move to here. Do the spin. And but I get the hazard, which puts me at six. So yeah, I am going to wipe out. Uh, but first, shooting phase. Oh, I do see. I'm going to definitely. Sh you. I'm out of range of the turret, right? Yep. So I'm going to shoot you with um, minigun and then Molotov cocktail from second crew. You know something? I don't know if we've done it incorrectly or not, but each turret only shoots once per gear phase. Oh, we've not been keeping track of that. Yeah, so if you've been ready to type in the comments that we've been playing it wrong, we acknowledge the fact that we've been playing it wrong. I acknowledge the fact that Tony told me wrong. All right, Tony, let's see what these miniguns do. <laughs> All right, miniguns first. Molotov cocktail, I've got to roll separately because if it does damage to you, um, you catch on fire. Yes. So can I borrow whichever one of your dice you want to lend me? That one that's showing the one. Mm, you want to do that? I don't know, man. All right. So it'll be the same as with always. You can choose to block this if you get any blocks. But um, So minigun, four shots, and one Molotov cocktail, which takes an ammo. So you hit with one damage and one Molotov. Yep, one damage and one Molotov. I'm in third gear. So I take two damage and I'm on fire. Two damage and you are on fire. Right, the Molotov does damage. Yep. It's just one dice, but if it does damage to you, then you catch fire. Okay, um, uh, what? let me look up fire real quick because I'm at zero hazards. I think the fire might just go out automatically. Maybe. Fire! Looking up. Fire! Explosions. Um, meanwhile, while that's happening, Tony, I am wiping out, so I've got to roll a three or a Yep, do your wipe out here. I've got to roll in the dice tray. I've got to roll in the dice tray. There we go. Five. We got it. Nailed it. That first one was one, the second one was a two. That's why uh -huh. I did that strategically like that, and I felt it, so I smacked it out of the air. It's a... Uh, some classic cat-like reflex. Here we go, from page 81 in the book. If this vehicle ever has zero hazard tokens, the fire goes out. So, no fire, just the damage. So, managing my hazards was very nice. All right, um, I wipe out. I'm going back to gear one. And go ahead and spin me whichever way you want. The important thing is I finally did something with it. <laughs> We're gonna. I spent hours last night doing things with. Um, all right. Uh, that's that's dunks. 
donkin dancing jigs go? We're going to go with the dancing queen. The queen herself. She is going to, I believe, hit a hard turn. I'm in third gear, but I don't care about that hazard because of my delicate touch. Your dainty touch. I'm going to go. We're going to roll three skid dice. Hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. I'm wondering if I should re-roll and push it. Push it? I've got no hazards, so I don't care about getting more hazards right now. All right, so. Cancel that slide. We're going to cancel the slide, and we're going to cancel the hazard that I've built up. I was hoping for a spin, but we're okay without it. So you got within range of any turrets, within range of one turret, and it hasn't shot yet this gear phase. <laughs> Have you used, moved yellow snow? No. That was my first activation. Okay. So shoot away. <gasps> there it is. There it is. Four hits. I'm taking one damage guaranteed. <laughs> I'm taking four, four damage. Is that done? That's done for the Dancing Queen. Oh, going down. Uh, Footloose is on one health. So you're going to let me finish off Footloose, or you're going to smash Footloose into something that's denying deny me the kill, right? Well, I need to do an explosion check. <gasps> so Footloose might go up in an explosion-y boom. Uh, I've got two ammo left. All right. So a four so and four, up explodes. Even with all that ammo. Woo! See, this is what happens when you name your cards after songs. The turrets. I'm not sure that's how that works, exactly but why works. don't you go ahead and take your turn? Um, we're going to go with Ramshackle. Ramshackles continue this um, turn around here. Like. So. Yeah, Ramshackle is going to go run away. Well, that's the only direction Ramshackle can go at the moment. Oh, but I should have—I should roll my dice first. Ramshackle, yeah, Ramshackle wants to right. get can we can we put up the can we get the cheater's medal back? I want that cheater's medal back. He needs a he needs a nice halo of cheating. So Clay, cheater's medal. Make it. Got it. Also, make me one of those little like can roll a six medallions. Don't, <laughs> don't make that. <laughs> Don't make that. Can roll a six. Uh, so, yeah, we'll take that. Um, cancel that out. Go down one hazard. Um, so, we moved. Mm -hmm. um, I am still more hazards than hull points, so another fan boat. All right, I am absolutely terrified to do anything with... Uh, with Footloose, that but I have well. to do something because Footloose has to activate. Uh, I need to stay out of those turrets. Uh, problem is, can't stay out of those turrets. So we're going to go down and I'm going to try to take something with me. Maybe we're going to hit a turn. I'm going to do a regular turn. To the left. Oh, to the right. Oh, yeah. That's a nice turn. You just scoot right around everything. All right, we're going to go. I'm going to roll you got this. in second gear. I get no bonus for taking this in this gear. But we got two slides, baby. Slide's not horrible. Slide, yeah. yeah. Slide actually probably gets you out of range of one to two turrets. It's going to shoot at you. We're going to go up a gear. And we're going to resolve both slides. So I get three hazards. Okay. Um, thank you. There you go. Slide template. You gotta make the... What, what's, what's the Mario power slide? Drifting. Drifting? Drifting. Okay. See? That puts you out of range of this, of both the turrets where you would have ended up in the middle. But now I'm in the range of one turret. Please roll the turret's attack. One damage going through on Footloose ends the game. Here we are. Double six has already happened, so th there's not much chance of them happening again, right? Wait, 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 wait. That turret already shot. Why did you talk me into this? Because we haven't been playing the rule like that. Cause I could have gone that way. We've been talking. 
Yeah, but that wouldn't have been any better. He's in my head. This is he was. No, I would not have done that. No, 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 yeah, I already missed. Okay, uh, I'm gonna drop some call traps because I might as well. Okay. Uh, these things are hazardous, and I believe they do damage, but maybe we don't really care at this point. And then I'm gonna shoot once into that uh, turret. Turret. I was gonna say, if you roll a six now, <laughs> I just one, roll one, one hit. Damage. So down to three. All right. So yellow snow will go, but before yellow snow goes, we're gonna shift. Donk and Dancing Jim up to. Okay. So two hazards, and they're at gear three. So they'll be able to start doing stuff again next gear phase. Because they've already went this gear phase. Um, and then Yellow Snow is going to go, and Yellow Snow is going to swerve. Oh, I also got an audience vote. No, oh, because of, yeah, yeah, I would hope so at this point. Wow. Uh, Yellow Snow is going to swerve. Like so. You gonna try to finish me off? Oh yeah. Yep. We're gonna go for style points here. Uh, so. We're just going straight for the finish. We're not even rolling dice. Oh come on. No, you can't let. This is Gaslands. This is Gaslands. You roll your skid who's dice. Who's the person that's being like, I'm gonna be all safe and <laughs> try to? I didn't do say things. safe. I was taking the lesser of two evils. I'm going to move here, and I'm just going to go for this quick finish. So that He's way you taking don't, the cheap way, way out, ladies and gentlemen. Be, that way you don't have to be in this arena full of champions any longer. Let it be known that Jolly's taking the cheap way out. Cheap way out? Here, this is my cheap way out for you, buddy. <laughs> Doesn't make sense. Um, so we're going to do four shots total, three for heavy machine gun, one for pistol. I hope you miss all of these. I might. I very well might. Or this might be all of the sixes. There's one for two hits. I'm in third gear. You just need two sixes. Or no sixes. And that's the game. Congratulations, sir. Good uh, game. Let this be definitive proof, Internet, that you should not take a racing team into a game where you don't care about racing. Oops. I learned how to drive a monster truck. Because <laughs> I, I never left this area here. With yeah. the monster truck, because I kept on pulling the Austin Powers, like trying to get out of that hallway. Yeah. And I know we probably got more rules wrong than we've said that we've gotten wrong, but. But we had more fun than anybody in the whole world. Well, that's probably not right, but. Tony, um... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what you're lacking from this, but I definitely had more fun than everybody in the whole world. <laughs> I'm, anyway, I'm, I'm trying. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I did the narration. You did. That was a very good narration. I. But what I'm trying to say is, I think the point of this game isn't about like getting some rules in and getting like everything exact and right. the The point of this game is to have some carnage and to have some fun and to drive your little matchbox cars with guns mounted on them around on a map. Some rules are going to be a little wonky. And then. The other point of this game, spend lots of time making a beautiful vehicle and then have it destroyed horribly in front of you. <laughs> uh, poor Footloose. We thought it was going to die first, but it was the last he one to last. go. last. All right, so that is Gaslands. That's Arena Gaslands. of Death. What's our time check right now? 8.45. 8 so, We're okay. on time. We're on time. Uh, do we have any questions from chat? Any other car names? Because he does it I know. Week, even though every I, week. We're in the heat of the battle. Sure, I am so I'm sorry sure. I listened to Jolly. Tony. I will never do it again. I will never listen to Jolly again. Are, can we clip that so that way we can make something from this week on? Episode 14, I will never do that again. Episode 15, why did I listen to him? Episode 16, I can't believe I listened to him again. Episode 17, I listened to him five times for some reason. 14. Yeah. Just play the clip. Never going to listen to Jolly again. TLDR, he listened to Jolly again. <laughs> he listened to Jolly again. <laughs> All right. Tony, um, you know what you should do? You should move this guy right there. I think it's a good decision. I'm not listening to you this time, Jolly. That's fine. All righty. So, 
Uh, All right, let's get one more. Line, line the cars up, because I do want to show everybody the cars, especially yours, Tony, because as always, your stuff looks immaculate. I appreciate that. And Thank you. I really want people to see some close-up details. So what we're going to do, um, actually, <laughs> we have... Well, I like the B-roll a lot. I want to kind of just, is it possible to... He's over there. The world is, possible, my friend. The world is your oyster. Can, He's I talking about moving this. the camera. How do, how do you zoom in on this one? Turn it to zero. Oh, whoa. whoa. All right, let's see if I can align things here. All right. Move this so out move of the way. Of move that stuff. All right, so Jolly, tell us real quick about kind of your process when you built this monster Do you want me to tell you the story of Donk and Dance and Jim? No, I want to tell you, <laughs> tell me about how you made Donk and Dance and Jim. Because you said that you just, you had a whole process and you wanted oh, to post okay. about it. The, the process was, I finally, 40-year-old me, finally bought some power tools so that way I could take apart a matchbox car. <laughs> Not that I don't... Why don't you step this way into the frame? That's right, we still have the front facing camera. Hi, everyone. I'm Jolly. I'm a professional. We are very professional on this stream. So, I don't know what they've so, told you. So, what I did was, months ago when I first tried this game, when you first taught me this game, because you were the one that demoed this game for me, mm -hmm. and I went to a bunch of different stores and just bought lots of boxes of matchbox cars and hot wheels. Uh, Monster Truck is one of the ones I picked up because I was like, I'm gonna do something cool with this. Um, so I took it, and the one thing I wanna let everybody know is that if you're ever doing anything with any of these, there's rivets on the bottom that if you take a power drill, and I think it's like a 1 16th inch drill bit or something. I don't remember. I think it's something like that. A drill bit that just barely covers the rivet. Metal, children, children, ask your parents to do this. Metal drill bit, or or just don't drill a hole in your hand, and then you don't have to tell them. Ask your parents to do this. <laughs> but you drill out those rivets, and then the top will just pop right off. And the reason that that's nice is then you could prime the top. You can put it in like nail polish remover or acetone if you want you to can... remove the original paint. I don't bother removing the original paint. I'll, I just have a little bit of sandpaper. I'll buff off any of the gloss so that way primer sticks to it, and I'll just prime over top of it. Yeah. Because if, I, if it looks a little like beat up and everything, that's fine because it's gas. So I did that. I took it apart, and then I just started with what color do I want the body to be? And I, I'm really in love with. I just used the contrast because I just wanted to do something up real quick. Once again, gas lanes. The paint job doesn't look immaculate. It's kind of how it is. We're in the rough and dirty wastelands yeah. of Earth. But I, I really like this blue. It's a the Croxagore scale contrast, and I've been using it on lots of stuff lately. So I was like, I want this truck to be that blue. So I painted the blue first, and then I started thinking, what weapons do I want to add to it? So I added a minigun on the front. I added this extra turbo booster engine part. Nice. Um, I put some armor plates on the back window here. I just left out the glass completely because I got thinking, for the most part, you're not going to have glass in these vehicles, at least not after one race. No. So I just left out the glass completely. I wanted something that I could kind of put something on because on most of my cars I have a one word written like boom, zoom, dead, D-E-D. -E but I didn't really like having it on both sides because I painted up. Who's the person to like? Person huh? like me? Your, your mic's probably just not battery. Your, what? Your stuff's well. Well, so, we're getting notices well then, from our crew that our batteries and our packs are about to go out. So we would love to talk more about this, but it's sadly time to go. Yep. So this is Jolly yelling wait, wait, to Tony's wait, wait, wait. mic. Before that. Next week, we on next week? Table Ready, yeah. we are going to be playing Star Wars Legion. This is one of the first, if not the first, like, full war games that we have. Um, we're going to be playing it in skirmish mode, so it'll be a little bit less, but we'll be having lots of models on the table next week. So, really excited about that. Cool theme, great game. So, really looking forward to Star Wars Legion next week. All right. And now, time and for I the... I believe that's it. So, time I'm going to... Yell over towards Tony because he has the only functioning mic at the moment because our battery's out. So this is Jolly. And I'm Tony. And this is Table Ready. Oh, yeah. We'll see you next week.